Hello everyone and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and for today's preview as the Lions host the Western Province tomorrow night in the last game of the second round of the 2020 Carling Curry Cup and both sides looking for a much improved performance even though the Lions won last weekend you know, against the Greek was I think they would have liked a much better performance and would have liked to have won outright without any sort of sort of um, very fortuitous circumstances in terms of the game being called off due to lightning and um, just four minutes after the Lions took the lead. So a bit of a sketchy win there really for the Lions, whereas the Western Province got completely outplayed by a 14-man bullside and they will have so much to prove this weekend because there's so much pressure mounting within a union which boasts so much talent, so many big names, but continue to, to perennially underperform. And I think John Dobson is under a lot of pressure because you look at the side and you just wonder why aren't players playing better or producing the goods? How can the Province not beat a 14-man bullside? You know, so some very big questions being asked currently in and around Newlands. Before we look at the teams itself, please do subscribe to the channel. Bottom right hand corner there, smash like as well. Jump in the comments, let me know what you think is going to happen. I'll let you know my prediction at the end. Um, and I'm going to have to go side with my side and the Lions, but we'll talk about scores and that kind of thing when we get there. So first up, the game is at Ellis Park or Emirates Airline Park as it is now known these days. And if you look at the Lions side, it is fairly unchanged. The big names that are missing there is Mornay Vandenberg is on the bench for this weekend, which means the experience in Ross Crenier will start. And Tian Swanepoel will start a fullback with the with um, the Lions. It's very short of, of, of fullbacks with Ivi um, Pallion as well as Gianni Lombard ruled out for the, the foreseeable future. Especially Lombard is out with a very long injury, the same injury that Warwick Hlant has. Um, so... Very unfortunate there, but it's still a very, very good side. Missing Carly Sardi, which will be a big miss, especially against a full capped Springboks front row. But Steve Sotone, I was very impressed with him last time. He's been standing up and, and playing very well this, this season. But Ruan Dreher, who's also Springbok capped, is going to have a very difficult day ahead of him against Steven Kitsov. And it is vital that we win those sort of battles if, we are, if, if the Lions are to try and do something this weekend. Willem Alberts looked very good last weekend, much better, worked very hard, was there making his tackles, Marvin always been looking good. But this the loose chair that I would like to see more from, especially Yako Creel, who I still feel we quite haven't seen the Yako Creel that, that we that we that we really enjoyed watching all those years ago in the sort of um, Super Rugby finals or you know one of the best players in Super Rugby at the time. Vintage Tuka has continues to impress me, works very, very hard, very skillful player, always looks for the offload and then Len Massane is kind of just, you know, the the hard worker. But in terms of the X-Factor, Alton Yankees will obviously bring a lot of it. And when the Similani is another one we need, that the Lions need to get onto the ball as much as possible because he will be vital. A big name which I'm really, which I'm really looking forward to this weekend is Rudolf Smith will finally, hopefully, touch all the wood, make his Lions debut this weekend. You know, And what was supposed to be such a big sign, and we haven't seen anything of him. And in, in a side which is quite young and trying to find their way, that experience could be key. And if we can get him into the side and playing really good rugby and create some more competition between those loose forwards, then that would be massive, especially with Ajiva Daimani being ruled out with an injury for a while. It would be a perfect time for Rudolf Smith to come in and start contesting for places and add some much-needed depth um, to the side. Morne van den Berg will be a good one to bring on as well. He'll speed up the game when he comes on, especially if the Lions are chasing, and Dan Creel brings in a lot of uh, physicality. Dylan Smith as well will be a nice scrummaging option to bring on later in the game. In terms of the province side, there has been a couple of, of, of shuffles, which was um, obviously because of Warwick Lunt being out. So as a result, if you look at the pack, the pack is unchanged. The same pack that played last weekend. Full cap, box front row, Salman Murat, J.D. Schickling, and the same loose trio, which will see Asiya Khaleesi continue his return from injury. But in the back line, no Herschel Yankees, which will be a big loss. As a result, Godlin Masimla will get a chance. And there's been a bit of a problem when it comes to the Western Province and their sort of um, fly, um, scrum half depth and that they've, they've struggled to sort of, whenever Hershey Yankees are not there, there is a gaping hole left within that side. And Godwin Masimla is going to have to try and step up and fill that hole this weekend. Tim Sreel will come in at fly half, which means Damien Villimso will go to full back, the position that I think he is much better and much far more suited to. And we've been having this debate and it was, it was pretty much what we spoke about most during the live watch along last weekend. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do a live watch along this weekend, but we will be back in the following weekend. Unfortunately, I'm doing a bit of traveling and stuff like that, so it just won't be possible, but we will be back with it very, very soon. Another interesting um, change is that Ruan Nell will start out at center, which again, I think is a very good move, because I think Rickus Pretorius 
and Dan Dubas, he struggled to get into the game last weekend and make much of a difference, which was which was limiting because you know the the province were on the back, well, 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 had opportunity for front football because the especially at scrum time that front row really did well, but the back line just couldn't get into the game. So I think putting Damien Villens at, at at full back, maybe a more recognised or more experienced, I suppose to put it away, Fly Hawk in Tim Sweel, and then having Ruan now at Alpha Centre, who brings him to the X factor, and he's a very intelligent player. You know, he understands. He might not be the quickest. But he's, but he, you know, he uses the space well. He's got a good offload game. He's very aware of his surroundings. So he's quite an intelligent player. And hopefully, we're going to have very good conditions this weekend for some proper, proper running rugby. So in theory, I mean, in terms of the side, Lions haven't beaten a a, a Western Province Cheetahs, Stormers, Bulls, you know, yet this competition. They've only beaten the Greek was twice. So it's a big opportunity for them to go after a Western Province side who are short on confidence and having a lot of questions asked about them. For the Western Province, it's a chance to go after a Lions side who weren't very impressive for a large part of the game last weekend against Greekwoods. Also struggling to find their rhythm. So two sides that have got a lot of good players on paper, but struggling to put that, convert that into proper performances and top performances and being able to make it all sort of gel. So it should be a very interesting game. I'm going to go with the Lions by 10. I'm hoping they're going to be able to run through some tries. I'm really hoping they want to see the Similani put to the good, a good shift. He will have to if he's going to be playing opposite Ruad now. He is quite good on the defence. See, Bella Sinatla is going to bring in a lot of pace. So that, I mean, you know, that whole score sun Sinatla battle will be very, very interesting. And um, the, yeah, and the, and the pack battle should be interesting. In theory, the Western Province should have the upper hand come scrum time. In the loose, though, I think the Lions can hold their own. And I think that, um, you know, Joan Augustus will be used a lot by the Western Province, but so will Willem Albert. So it'll be quite a tiring game in terms of relentless forward battle. And then hopefully a lot of space where the back lines can just put on a bit of flair. So let's hope for a really good running, open, and very watchable game this weekend. But I am going to go Lions by 10. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe to the channel, bottom right-hand corner, there, smash a like as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven, and I'll chat to you over the weekend.